Hey, Aplea, now that you know that you like your crush, you might be asking yourself, am I ready to ask them out? Am I ready to go on a date with them? How do I really know? I'm gonna walk you through a few different things you can ask yourself beforehand so you can decide whether or not you're ready to ask out your crush. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beats. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh and every single Monday through Friday I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. Now the signs I want to mention here are universal. So if you're a girl that likes a boy or a boy that likes a girl, these are still things you should be looking out for. The first sign is, do you talk to them frequently? Whenever you see them in school, do you stop and have a conversation? Or do you sometimes shoot them a DM and have a conversation on Snapchat? Snapchat or Instagram. The point is, if there's no constant flow of communication going back and forth, then I think jumping to asking them out is going to come out of nowhere. They're going to feel like, well, why would I want to go out with you? And then we're going to sit there together awkwardly not having anything to say if we can't even have a normal conversation in our day-to-day -day interaction. It's sort of a catch-22. Because you don't talk to them that frequently, it's hard to ask them out on a date. But because you haven't gone on a date with them one-on-one -on -one and spent that quality time, you don't really know what to talk to them about. Don't worry, I have a solution for that. I'm going to share a little bit later on but the second thing you should be looking for is are they excited to talk to you whenever you engage them in conversation are they happy are they into it are they sharing things or are they just giving you one word answers and kind of paying attention to everyone else just because you talk a lot doesn't mean it's quality conversation you want them to really be into what you guys are talking about you want them to give you full-on answers to ask you questions to laugh at your jokes to want to be around you in that capacity so if the only reason they talk to you a lot is because you're in a group project together or because you're the only person they really know in that class, I wouldn't take that as them being excited about the conversation and excited to talk to you. You know what I mean? The third thing you should consider here is, do you feel like you'd be okay spending one-on-one -on -one time with them or time with them and their friends? If you don't really feel like that'd be a comfortable position for you, you feel like it'd just be awkward and you wouldn't know what to say, then maybe I would take a step back in asking them out. Now I know you want a girlfriend or you want a boyfriend, you want to make it happen. But if you just don't feel comfortable around them when you guys are alone, then how can you expect to start dating? How can you expect to go out and get food together or go for walks or just sit and talk if there's no substance there? And if you're around their friends and you just don't feel comfortable, that's a bridge you should start building first because if you do start going out with them, you're probably gonna spend a lot of time around their friends. Most likely, if you guys do start dating, you're not gonna exist in a tiny little vacuum where it's just you and them. Your friends are gonna be involved, their friends are gonna be involved, other people in the school are gonna see you guys together, your parents, their parents, there's a lot of people on the outside that are going to play a role in influencing this type of relationship. So if you don't really feel comfortable with their side of the equation, that might be something you want to work on first. How can I forget the fourth thing, which is a pretty straightforward thing to ask? Are they even allowed to start dating? A lot of times you may want to ask someone out. You may want to have them be your boyfriend or girlfriend, but they may just not be ready to start dating or their parents just might not allow them to do it. I would figure out all those little details before you ask them out because the last thing you want to do is run into that awkward scenario where you do ask them out and they tell you, ooh, yeah, I can't go out with anyone because my parents won't let me, or eh, I'm just not ready to start dating. Sometimes people are just getting out of a relationship or they wanna focus on schoolwork. It's important to know where they stand too. Just because you wanna start dating them doesn't mean that they're actually ready to do it. So get a full scope of things before you act. And the fifth thing, which should go without saying, but I need to say it here is, are they currently dating someone else? Just because you're ready to ask them out and you wanna start dating them, doesn't mean that you should because if they're currently dating someone else, I don't think that's a cool thing to do. I know that you like them and you want to be with them and maybe you don't agree with their relationship or like it, but if they're currently dating someone else, I would be respectful of that because if you were dating that person, you wouldn't want other people interfering and asking out your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? So are you ready to ask out your crush? I can't hear you. I said, are you ready? If you are, then the next step is to watch the video that I'm gonna link up right here on the screen. It talks all about how to make that first move on your crush. Also, I'm gonna link a playlist down below it, which has more videos on how to talk to your crush, how to feel more comfortable, everything you may wanna work on before you actually go ahead and do it. And that note, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. As always, love and peace.